so I wasn't planning on it, but uh, I bought a new lens in Japan. Ah yes, the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 brand new for the Sony full frame E-mount. I can't believe I bought this and several other things. But first, this video is partially sponsored by Squarespace. If you happen to stumble upon this video because of the YouTube algorithm gods, hi, welcome. But this video here actually doesn't have any sort of review elements about this lens. So if you want some valuable information as to whether or not you should get this lens or some sort of comparison, check out these other guys right here. I'll have their reviews linked in the description box below. This video in particular is just for my core audience. Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to share this excitement of buying a brand new New lands in Japan with you guys. So I didn't fully anticipate to come to Yorobashi here in Akihabara to buy a 24 to 70. It's because it's sold out in America. You didn't even bring your passport or your credit card. How would you even gonna buy it? See, that's the thing. I didn't anticipate so to buy anything today, so I didn't bring my passport or my credit card. I approved it, like kinda. So, for real, I had no intentions of buying the Sigma 24-70. My day started off wanting to do some street photography with an 85mm around Japan. But before that, we were planning on getting some lunch at a restaurant that we kind of really wanted to try, but it wasn't open yet. So I figured I could kill some time by going up to Yodobashi, which is a Japanese electronic store, very similar to that of Best Buy here in the States. But yeah, I decided to go up to Yodobashi to check out the Sigma 24-70. to And initially, I just wanted to do like a story, an Instagram story, and be like, hey guys, I'm playing with this lens, check it out, haha, ha, I'm so cool. But then I remember I wasn't able to get a press loaner unit from Sigma because one of the reps told me that all of them have already gone out to other press outlets, so who knows? when I'll be able to get my hands on one anyway. So I mainly got this lens from you guys because I've been getting a lot of questions and comments asking me what I think about this lens. So I fully blame you guys for making me pull the trigger and buy this lens. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna sell the Sigma 24-70 after I'm done making a review on it just because I already have the 24-70 G Master, which I don't think I'll ever get rid of. And the funny thing is that I hardly ever use that lens anyways unless I'm shooting a wedding or an event. Aside from that, I generally never use that lens for anything else. So keep an eye out on my Instagram at JasonVMedia to see when I sell this lens and I'll uh, knock off a couple bucks for you guys. But anyways, I was able to get this for a really good price, about 1,050 US dollars. If you were to buy this lens here in the States, it would run you about $1,100. But the reason why I was able to save about $50 was because of the currency exchange rate between American dollars uh, versus Japanese yen. That and we're foreigners, so we don't have to pay any taxes in Japan. And because we paid with a Visa card as well, I was able to save an additional 5% or something. So in total, I got it for about 1,050 US dollars. Not too bad. I figured I'd lose about a couple bucks um, from this impulse buy, but it will be worth it to make a couple of YouTube videos with this lens. Now, the impulsive buy was also because the stock of this lens is scarce even in Japan, and the store that I was at only had one unit left. And I probably made this guy's day. This guy is a Sigma rep in Japan, and I like to imagine that his only purpose in life that particular day was to sell this one and only unit to somebody, and I bought it like an hour after the store opened. I like to imagine that he probably took the rest of the day off and showed a hot spring or something, you know, just laying there and just be like, yep, I don't have to go and work for the rest of the year. <laughs> And if you're interested in knowing more about buying cameras and lenses in Japan as a tourist and save big on some monies, check out a previous video of mine linked up here or in the description box. I go into a lot of details as to how to save a lot of money buying cameras, new cameras, new lenses, or used cameras and used lenses and save a lot of money when you're purchasing in Japan. And this lens is not the only thing that I bought in Japan. So I was only planning to buy the lens, but I think I gotta pick up a few more things here. What? No. Let's no. go. All right, so we're buying the Sony, the brand new mic. I don't know what the model number is, EC1M, B1, whatever. Um, it's about the same price as America. It's a little bit cheaper because it's tax-free, so I'm buying it here. Also, have to buy a brand new 82 millimeter front cap because I'm missing one for my 16 to 35. And also the eyepiece that I lost at Disneyland. Ah. 
<laughs> so I really love map camera here because they have a lot of really good condition used goods that includes cameras, lenses, and I saved big like four years ago when I was buying a bunch of APS-C lenses. Extremely clean, they're very honest with their conditions, and we're back here because, um, well we're not buying anything used here, we're buying some new stuff here because they have some of the better deals on the, some of the new products here, so that's why we're here. I didn't buy these new things for absolutely no reason. I did use them for a project that I did out in Japan. Based on my last interview with Professor Hines on street photography, we got an overwhelming positive response from you guys and even inspired some of you guys to start shooting street photography with an 85 millimeter lens. And from that, I really want to start bringing in more photographers that personally inspires me and share their story to hopefully inspire you guys as well. And it just so happens that I have a new friend that I've met out in Tokyo and he also does street photography and urban photography. His name is Lucas and we shot the interview with Sigma 24 to 70 and we also did some on location stuff with him as well shot it with the same lens and for the audio we used the brand new sony mic i'm gonna go ahead and play a few snippets of the footage that we've gotten so you can hear what it sounds like and see what the lens quality looks like yeah that lady was perfect classy high heels i mean that she slowed down she thought she was getting in your shot too is that i didn't i did notice she was slowing down yeah but i didn't you know, I didn't lose my focus and look up in her and try to figure out why. I just thought maybe she's looking at her for her friend. I don't know. I didn't care. I just thought, okay, whatever is happening, I'm shooting. I'm happy with that. That's very Tokyo. That's very Tokyo. Colors, light, you know, sexy shoes. That's pretty Tokyo to me. I like that. Now keep in mind, all of the on location stuff that we did with Lucas, it was raining pretty hard that night. So my brand new setup that day got rained on. Thankfully, the Sigma has weather sealing, so this lens is still working just fine. I was actually more surprised that the Sony mic survived. I didn't think it was, I don't think mics are generally weather sealed. So I was for sure I was going to ruin it. It would have been painful to lose a mic that you just bought literally that day, but I bought it mainly for this on location shoot with Lucas because I really like the sound quality of the mic. It was better than what I was using, which was the Rode Video Micro, and that takes in a lot of ambient and background noise, which I didn't like. The new Sony one just sounds a whole lot better. It actually takes advantage of the new multi-interface hot shoe technology on the Sony a7R Mark IV, so all the sound actually gets recorded digitally instead of the more traditional way where you have to plug in uh, 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 a 3.5 aux cable from the receiver to the uh, on-camera receiver whoops transmitter to the receiver now this isn't something new to Sony Sony actually have these uh, multi-interface hot shoe mics before but they've only recently now I feel like perfected it with this brand new mic right here I can't explain the technology really well right now I have to do some more research um, but if you're curious yourself I'll have a video link below where uh, Sony the official channel of Sony uh, talks a little bit more about how this mic works the only thing that I didn't take into account was the raindrops hitting the mic the audio sounds fine otherwise but the raindrops are super apparent because it was hitting the mic directly so you can hear it when you watch the video. Not sure if that's a big deal yet because I'm not sure how I'm going to be cutting the video and how much of the on location stuff I'll be using. But once the video is out, you can be the judge of that. So I'll have a more detailed impressions video or a review of the Sigma 24-70 
probably in about a couple of weeks, I'll be taking this lens with me to CES 2020 next week. So hopefully after that, I will have a follow-up video to the Sigma 24 to 70 F 2.8. But hey, anyways, I'm back in America right now. As you can tell, we are in a new space. I do apologize for the echo if you're hearing any of that right now. I definitely do need to be soundproofing this room and I'll definitely have more information as to what's going on here in this new space. More information coming very soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy early New Year's, and we'll see you guys in 2020. Peace. I'm sure you heard by now, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create beautiful and clean websites. Recently, Vivian and I launched our free filmmaking course, and we created a landing page to house all five tutorials. Creating this page took us no more than 30 minutes to put together thanks to Squarespace user-friendly interface. Whether you need a website to build a portfolio or an e-commerce store, build it with Squarespace. Start your free trial today, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash jasonvong to save 10% off your website or domain. See you guys in the next video. Peace.